Let us now take a small example, a small coding uh, snippet. Most of the things in programming one can learn by seeing small codes. I mean, I'll, I'll now write a three line code and I'll leave it to you all to guess what this could possibly be doing. So what I'll do is I will declare a string s equals webgaya. We all know what this is. This stands for violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. You will see in a minute what I'm trying to do. And then all I'm doing is I'll say print s of zero. And then execute this. It will give me v. What is it doing? If I say print of s of one, it gives me v and i. If I say print of s of, um, let's say two, it gives me v, i and, let me execute this, v, i and b. v, i and b as you can see, right? Uh, if I go on like this, s of three, it will give me v i b g. Let me go ahead. S of 4. Yes, if you remember the chapter from strings, we did discuss some of the string operations in detail there. But I am helping you recollect it once again. Whenever you mention the strings string variable and then big bracket and then a number here, it will indeed show you the fifth letter in the string. Okay. And the last one, of course, is S of 6 because there are 7 letters in Vibgayar and you get all these things printed. If you try printing S of 7, it will definitely throw an error simply because the 7th entry is not there. You are indexing the string which is going out of range. That's, that may sound a little complicated to you in the beginning, but you will get used to these error messages. Right? So, let me remove this, then retain it. It displays my six letters in the string web kaya okay so now let me remove all these things and do this in one line for i in range seven print s of five so what will happen s of zero s of one s of two you will see all of it printed here in fact the same thing will get printed you will not see any changes right if in case you were to say range up to 5, you will only go up to uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 letters in the string with bear. Right? Good. Now, I'm going to ask you people a question. There are two brothers, S and T. Okay? Two brothers, S and T. Let's say S for um, um, two brothers. S for Sharat and T for Tanma. Okay, two brothers S and T, and they wear one of these colors every day: violet or indigo or blue or green or yellow or orange or red. Whenever Sharat wears one of these colors, it doesn't mean Tanma also wears the same color. He can wear any color for that matter. Okay, so now my question is. What are all possible colors that Sharat and Tanmay can wear? Uh, what do I mean by this? By this I mean for I in range 7. Okay. Print S of I will simply print V I B G Y O R. But then if you say for every combination of a color that Sharat wears, Tanmoy can wear the seven colors. What do I mean by this? Just stay patient and see this code snippet. Just stare at it for a moment. What I'm doing is inside this, the for loop gets executed, this very for loop. Okay. Um, so these two lines here get executed for every value of i. When i is 0, these two lines get executed. When i is 1, 
these two lines get executed when i is 2 these two lines get executed but what is there in these two lines in these two lines there is yet another for loop okay this is called this is an example of a nested for loop looks complicated it takes time for you all to understand but then with time you will be able to master this this is not at all complicated just looks a little um, complex okay so for i in range 7 for j in range 7 means initially i will be 0 j will be 0 okay and you will print s of i s of j what will this do let me write i will be 0 and j will be 0 and then you will print s of i and s of j so you will be printing basically s of i s of j v v when i equals 0 and j will be equal to 1 why is that i remains 0 here and j runs through all values between 0 and 6 so j equals 1 the you will be printing violet and blue correct so on and so forth i is 0 and j is 2 you will be printing violet uh, i'm sorry this was violet and indigo this will be violet and blue because when uh, s of 0 is v s of 2 is b correct and then so on and so forth so on and so forth you will also see uh, and then at the end you have i equals 0 and j equals 6 then you will be printing v and r why think through it you will get to know <laughs> let me leave it as an exercise and then finally after j runs from 0 to 6 the for loop here here the value of i then becomes 1 and j becomes starts from 0 then you will print s of i which is i and s of j which is v and so on it's a little complicated to explain but trust me all that is happening here is put your hands here and then let's say whatever is inside here in this line gets executed for every value of i ranging from 0 to 6 and if it is another for loop there that entire for loop gets executed for each value of i let's see the output of this it will be very interesting to see the output yay happy pure as you can see you have a vv as expected vi as expected vb as expected and so on when i equals 0 j equals 6 it says vr we are indeed seeing vr here and then iv here iv when i is 1 and j is 0 and so on in fact to make it a little more interesting we can also display i and j here let's execute this so yeah here is the output let me go up yeah when i is 0 j is 0 it displays v and v when i is 0 j is 1 it displays v and i so on and so forth right when i is 6 and j is 6 it displays s of 6 and j of uh, t of 6 which is r totally there are so many ways in which these two brothers can wear these seven colors okay uh, how many ways is that let me just count that out how do i count that i'll say count equals zero and then increment the counter here i hope i'm making sense here right and then finally declare here print the total ways in which the two brothers can wear seven different colors that sounds a little complicated makes it a little mathematical but yes computer science is not interesting without without uh, mathematical thinking you would have realized that after the computational thinking course there was some good deal of math there right so i will say count here this should give me the answer as to how many lines were here in this execution okay let's go ahead execute this and then see what's the answer wow there are 49 ways indeed that is true because there are 
seven ways in which sharat can wear uh, a shirt of color violet or indigo or blue or green or yellow or orange or red for every combination tanmay has seven ways so it is 7 into 7 49 why is that uh, it's a little mathematical don't worry if you if you are unable to see why it is the answer is 49 my computer program is saying it is 49 so i trust my code <laughs> so the answer is 49